to hear this. Three of the women on the retreat had attempted to take their lives. Six of the women had had many, many suicidal thoughts. And every single one of these women had their own relationship with death from overdosing themselves, to witnessing their loved ones pass away, to having their partners unexpectedly die. And this is something we rarely talk about, especially in an open setting with people you don't really know. This conversation was so deeply healing because we got to see parts of ourselves that we may have never seen before. We got to share some similarities about really uncomfortable topics and in doing so, this brought so much love into the space. And this all started in the letting go workshop when I had everyone write their own eulogy. And then we started to share how death has showed up in our lives. And after we went to Bokashi and buried ourselves in burning hot dirt so we could purge the old versions of ourselves and let go of what we needed to let go and start to get comfortable with this death and rebirth cycle we are constantly going through in life so that we can start to have harder conversations with people and prevent suicide and help people feel deeply seen and loved in their hardest times. Because half of the women at this retreat wouldn't have even made it here if it weren't for their loving community. So this is a reminder that we no longer need to suffer alone.